Phil. Hi. So, last night me and Beth went to see Phil Collins in Manchester, and he was actually great. Give him his due. He was actually great. And, uh, yeah, really, really enjoyed it. The tour is called the Not Dead Yet Tour, and I can assure you, he's not dead. What we have stayed in is a suite. We have a premier suite, all for ourselves. And I thought you needed to see this place. So, without further, without further, further ado, without further ado, here is the master bedroom. An excessively big headboard. Excessively big headboard. Me and my pants. I just need to show you the bathroom. Like, well, this is the ensuite. So, everything you would expect. But then this is insane. I can assure you, that shower was amazing. I've got this weird thing where I like to have a shower in some way new. I like to try out people's showers. I'd happily go for days without washing my own house, but someone else's house, you've got to try the shower out. Right, so this is the master bedroom. So far, this is the dressing room, but seriously, what is this? This headboard? It's bigger than me. I, I don't even understand. Space saving uh, wardrobe. It's the small things in life. In this suite. We also have a washing machine, because why wouldn't you? And this is our living room. Which is not to be sniffed at. Actually, I'm just going to open the curtains. Okay, let me try that again. And this is our living room. Two sofas, TV, balcony, breakfast bar, tables and chairs, proper kitchen. Microwave, oven, fridge, freezer, all the kitchen utensils you could want. Toaster, kettle, as three little gifts, they left us flapjacks and shortbreads, um, which have all been eaten. Um, the only thing we haven't got is milk for the tea. Premier Sweets, provide milk. You don't even have to provide fresh milk, it can be powdered milk, just something for tea. Um, something that looks that resembles a prison as a balcony guard. Uh, we probably won't go out on there. I'm sure we saw someone doing crack down the alley as we drove into the car park. This is great! The reason why we got a suite, bearing in mind all we've done is go to sleep, because we got back from Phil Collins quite late last night. Um, by the way, this is five minutes walk from the Arndale Shopping Centre and five minutes walk from Manchester city station, the main station that's next to the arena, whatever that's called. And so we didn't need a suite, we didn't need more than one bedroom, we didn't need the kitchen, the washing facilities, the sofa, anything. But it was close and it was insanely cheap compared to some of the hotels. We went to Mark Spencer's on the way back from we were going to get Deliveroo, and by the time we decided, Deliveroo had closed. Like, I think there must be something like past 11 o'clock. So we went to M&S and we bought the one thing that, that is necessary in times like this, Peroni. Um, that's one that wasn't finished. So anyway, this is our little suite. 
Hope you've enjoyed the little tour around. Today is Thursday. And Beth and I are obviously in Manchester, so we're not at work. We've got the day off, and we're gonna go do some shopping. Now, what you can see out here is lovely blue sky. Lovely blue sky in every direction. But it is not as it seems because it is zero degrees outside. Zero. So um, we'll be wrapping up warm and then we're gonna go and do some shopping. This place is just insane. It's insane. Um, right, I'm gonna go get dressed. Christmas is all about. I just need to explain to you how much I hate f***ing putting these things on. Why does the string on the baubles not come attached? In what world do we live in where we want to attach our own string to baubles? Bauble people, people that make baubles, sort your shit out. Jack Frost nipping at your nose So I'm offering a sample phrase Although it's been said many times, many ways 